today we are gonna address a common problem with occur when we k swap a honda crv or a honda fit okay so what the problem is that the fuel tank indicator inside your dashboard become inaccurate okay sometimes it shows there is a lot of fuel in the fuel tank but fuel tank become empty when you are on a highway and you are stranded there okay so how to avoid this problem we will uh, discuss four to five solutions and discuss every uh, solution uh, pro and the con okay this is what i am telling about so for example this is my fuel tank needle so when the fuel pump will shrink the inside indicator will rise okay so what happens is this will rise but the actual fuel is low in the car okay uh, what is happening is as we have plastic fuel tanks not the metal one so what is happening is when the fuel uh, you are on the long journey on a highway and fuel pump is working okay it is uh, pumping fuel out of the fuel tank into the engine okay so what is happening is if there is no air going to take that fuel space okay because there is a rule that everything you move the air comes in that place okay so when the fuel is moving out of the fuel tank if there is no en entry of the air what is happen is there will be a vacuum inside the fuel tank and what will happen is the fuel tank will shrink and when it shrink the fuel level will rise okay so it will give the value of false increase in the fuel although the fuel is being decreased similarly if with time the fuel gets warm okay for example in or uh, in hot weather the extreme summer so what will happen is the fuel tank will expand okay and if there is no proper entry of air uh, or even is not working correctly the fuel level will drop and the your dash will show that fuel is about to empty so that is uh, not a big concern for those who just drive their cars on the weekends okay but those who have daily driven cars these cars or drive highways long distances then this problem becomes uh, big okay so because you don't know what actual level of fuel is in the fuel tank so to remedy that problem normally just check that your honda original evf system is working correctly okay so the solution one of one number one is very simple just disconnect the evap line and here is the evap connector located in my uh, in honda fits okay so just disconnect the line from that secure box like thing but the problem is that the fresh air uh, which enters into the inside the car that vent is also located here okay so what happens is after that you will uh, smell a lot of gasoline inside the car okay not pleasant at all so i tried that and just after one week i was fed up with the smelling the gas fumes in the car so that solution but that did not help uh, 100% okay that was working like 80% and for crv the uh, that evap canister is not locating here so in crv that solution can work in crv the evap canister is located just behind the uh, just above the rear tire okay i will show you in the pics So in CRV, disconnecting the line can help, and you will not smell the fumes inside the cabin. But I told you that solution works like 80%, not the 100%. Sometimes the same problem occurs. Okay. The solution number two is, is it's almost the modified form of solution number one I told you. But in this, I have removed this little device. This device is like a manual evap. Okay. Uh, fuel tank gets hot and expands. Then the extra fumes will be. evacuated by this device okay this is a uh, uh, there is a check valve in that after some pressure it let the fumes vent okay this is just the uh, uh, i have extended the length of that because there is turbo so i have removed my evap uh, canister from there and just uh, i have removed that plastic box canister and just routed a new hose okay nylon hose and <coughs> shifted that device here fixed with the this screw and uh, instead of uh, Uh, opening it uh, uh, into the air okay because when the fuel tank is shrinking the air gets back again from here okay so instead of dirty air entering the fuel tank i have uh, applied a little small filter okay these type of mesh filters they are very common and cheap you can buy i will show you the link so this is my filter <coughs> so the check valve only works when fuel tank pressure is high that will let the fumes 
fume are coming from here and escape from here. And when there is vacuum inside the tank, there is free entry of air. Okay, air will enter here and then into the fuel tank. This fixes 95% of the problem. Still, I have experienced one to two times when driving on highway, pushing the car hard because the fuel fuel pump was working extra, so it was creating more vacuum in the tank. That's why I think this was not coping up with that. Okay, so. So the third solution, the third solution is you convert the return fuel system, uh, return less fuel system. These new Hondas, okay, they use the return less fuel system, okay. The fuel comes here and then the fuel pressure regulator is located inside your fuel tank, not in the engine compartment. So I will show the picture of how that looks, but in detail I will discuss that return fuel system when I do the turbo series on these, okay. So I will discuss upgrading of fuel and that. So just to tell you that works 100%. You will convert the return less system into return fuel system. Here is my fuel coming in. Here is the fuel rail and here it is returning back. Here is the fuel pressure regulator and through that blue pipe it is going back. But it is, I have not drilled an extra <coughs> hole for the this uh, uh, blue return line. I have used my EVAP line, which was opening here. So my my fuel returning is through the EVAP line. So what happens is this solves 100% of the fuel tank indicator problem. But uh, when I open the uh, fuel tank sometime in hot summer, okay, there's a lot of fumes in here, okay. Because of course I have used the uh, EVAP line as my return line. So if you don't want a lot of fumes in there, you just tap a new uh, new connection into fuel tank assembly. So there's a lot of videos about that. I will not go into that today. So the returnless fuel system cures it 100%. Fourth solution is I bought a, a used uh, fuel cap for my Honda. These are universal. Even Toyotas can fit it, okay? So what I made is a teeny bini hole inside, okay? In here. No need to make hole here, okay? Because this all is communicating, okay? So just, this I think was 1 mm, but I think this is still a big hole. You just can use a small needle, heat it up and just make a teeny bini hole. And this, with this small hole, there is absolutely none fumes in the fuel tank, okay? None. I will compare them, my Honda Fit which is using the uh, normal fuel uh, cap which has no hole in it and the CRZ and uh, I will uh, let them stand for 24 hours. When the sun is at peak, I will open the fuel tanks of both, the, this one and this one and you will see how much fumes that emits and how less this emits. Let's compare both of the system. Okay, let's open this up. You will hear, I have put my camera on aeroplane mode so because radiation and fumes are not good okay so let's open it you see quite a large amount of vapors let's see on the crz what that little hole makes a difference or not okay wow absolutely nothing okay so that little hole i made in the fuel cap In the summer, I put this fuel cap on and in the winter, I have my other fuel cap. Okay. So, this is, this also works 100% if you have used the, this uh, uh, EVAP system as a return fuel system. If you have uh, separately tapped it and EVAP system is there, then you will not need this mod, okay? And please make smallest hole possible and then you can uh, broaden it okay but first make smallest possible now the solution number five solution number five is not my solution but i saw a video on youtube a guy who was changing the whole fuel uh, indicator unit inside the fuel tank okay and he was thinking that because we use the acu of the civic si usa canada so we should use the fuel indicator of that model that will cure the problem but 
I question that. Okay, because if that solution is the problem, then all the time the reading should be inaccurate. But as we see, the reading is quite accurate. When you drive it for long period of time, then the fuel pump creates a vacuum inside the tank and that shrinks and the fuel tank indicator sometimes rises and sometimes when the fuel tank expands, it, the, uh, it becomes down fuel tank. In my CRD, I am still using the Honda, Honda CRD OEM uh, original uh, fuel tank indicator uh, inside the fuel tank. So why the problem was born in my CRD when I converted into, into the return system? If his theory is right, then the problem should exist in the CRD. Okay. So that solution number five is I am skeptical about it, but I will provide the link if you want to do that. Just you can do it. But I think that will that is will not cure the problem. Okay. Okay. One thing, if uh, uh, I think I should tell you about the gauges, uh, what I prefer. I have tried uh, from USA to China. From USA, I have tried the glow shift and these are good never gave me a problem accurate but still uh, there are no alarms in them okay you cannot set the low and high alarm so because after some time you forget to see the gauges often okay so the alarm the sound which save you okay and these alarms the these china gauges they have alarms low high as much as you set it and they have saved me a bunch of time okay so that's why glow shift is out then i tried the uh, depot racing and this also are these are good but still no alarms that's why i am not recommended this and these are just the replicas okay but they are very good i have been using these replicas for around two to three years now okay the only problem the boost gauge uh, that became faulty so i uh, changed that let me show you the display by starting and you can change the uh, initial ceremony if you want and these are very accurate except for this tachometer okay just these grady china replicas are good okay they are reliable they have uh, seen some extreme heat okay in uh, some of the temperature is here is ridiculous you cannot touch them okay they get so hot but still they have survived okay after three to four years okay just boost gauge i had to change one time okay and these can be daily change okay if you connect one you just connect power to one and then you can connect all the others okay the daily chain feature i love about them Another very important thing is, okay, this is their constant power, okay, the 12 volt battery voltage and this is the ignition power, the switch power source, this is the dimmer or the night light, okay, and this is the ground. I have found that if you connect this red wire to permanent battery source, then they drain battery quite a lot, okay. So that's it, another drawback of these. Uh, my battery was draining after 3 to 4 days because I just uh, used the cars after maybe 1 week, okay. So please, if you are using these one and your battery is being drained, just you do is you combine these together and connect them to a ignition power source. Okay. Just the ignition power source, not the permanent power source. And these have good memory. Even one start will give uh, save memory for even months. Okay. You, if you don't start them for months, still the memory is safe. Your alarm, your settings, your color settings, etc. All will be safe. So just combine these two wires. Okay the yellow the permanent power and the temporary uh, ignition power and just connect to them to ignition power source not the permanent power source okay and this is optional if you want them to dim at the night uh, then connect it to a dim switch okay the night light and uh, that's very good and this is the ground that technically ends our k series build guide in honda crd or uh, honda fit and next part would be officially end and in that part i will discuss the minor but important things like what is the weight distribution what is the weight after the swap before the swap is the handling affected how much big exhaust you can fit on a honda fit and on a crd and similarly the how is the drive okay is this drive good or that drive good how is handling at high speed and how is the budget main important thing i will discuss the budget okay so in that part it will be officially the end but that's very important part stay tuned for that and uh, subscribe and like and uh, take care bye bye